What do you say we dive into tonight's subject? Well, it's it's more like a, a basis for conversation. Yeah, this is I mean, Skid's idea. Listen, this is uh, an open forum. We're talking about a bunch of the crazy shit that's going on out there tonight. Well, I mean, as as we go into the holidays, especially hmm. uh, sanity and loneliness, isolation, all that stuff oh is God. really going to be hitting a lot of people. Hard. Oh, yeah. This is the well, biggest time of the year for self deletion. Look, it, it hits me hard around this time of year. And yeah. one of the main reasons is, uh, you know, I, I don't have any family hmm. anymore. And, uh, you know, and home is where the heart is. And my heart was with my children and they were taken from me. Therefore, I have no home. I just have a place where I store my shit till the next operation. That's it. The lair. And, and listen, it gets really tough. So everyone out there is going through a hard time during the holidays. I got it. I am right there with you. And guess what? I am not going to do. Put a gun in my fucking mouth. Yeah. All right. There listen, I understand mm -hmm. you're lazy or you're having a problem and you're like, what's the purpose of carrying on? Listen, if you put the gun in your mouth and you end it early, they are sending your ass right back here. And it might actually be worse than what you have right now. Okay. Don't drink the whiskey, like, parents. Otherwise, you are going to die. All right, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 we keep bringing that up. I'm going to tell the story again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm in the doctor's <laughs> office about seven, eight years back. Dr. Kleppner, he's retired now. Kleppner, huh? Yeah. He's a great guy. That sounds like a great guy. He was, to go to he was the Russian Spetsnaz doctor. Yeah. Uh, yes. I so I go in thing. there, and I'm like, he, you know, he's, a, he's like, you know, prescribing me Ambien and, and a couple other things. And he's just like, so he is partially responsible for your midnight ice cream. As well. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> so probably a lot he, of the war hammers too. <laughs> you know, he, what, well, and I've been going in for years. So finally he's like, Terrence, uh, you keep talking about not being able to sleep. Could you walk me through your typical evening? Would you do to prepare to sleep. Oh, God. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, nine, 10 o'clock. I, uh, you know, take two or three Benadryl. <laughs> Half hour later, one or two Neurotin. And then, you know, I'll take an Ambien, wait like another half an hour, and then I wash it down with a hydrocodone and two to four shots of Jack. And literally, he's like, Terrence. It's a wonder you're still here, man. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> he's like, Terrence, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, let's just I mean, the Benadryl and the whiskey by itself would be bad enough because you're taking something that dehydrates you and then you're drinking something that dehydrates you. And then you're compounding it with narcotics <laughs> and a sleeping truck. And booze. I, I guess Evil Pop was the yeah. one waking up in the middle of the night and saying, you know, if I don't get something in my system, I'm going to die. Well, there's a 7-Eleven right there. Chunky monkey. All right, let's get it going. Did you know there are like four <laughs> chapters from the first book that were written while I was completely out of my mind on Ambient? Yes. You can see how surprised <laughs> I am right now if you look at And like it. I woke up in the morning and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm on page 114. I'm like, no, I'm on page 152. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm like, let me, let me read what I wrote. Go. I'm like, good job, bad pop. That's not bad. You know? <laughs> Do you guys do any like writing or anything in your spare time where you do, like, yeah. you'll write something and then you'll go back and you'll read it later and it's like a completely different person wrote it? Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Yeah. yeah. You get into that zone and then you're like, oh, that's pretty fucking good. Because, no, quite frankly, it, it is a different person writing it. Yeah. I wrote a novella my junior year in high school. And I pounded it all out at like 6.30 in the morning visiting. like Because my mom used to babysit for the same family for years. Yeah, yeah. And I would just go yeah. along with because, you know, summer, I didn't have a job and everything else to do. Do, 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 do. And the next thing I know, I had like this 60-page book. And I'm like, go back and I read it like a month later. It was really fucking good. Man, <laughs> tired me is really obsessed with tits. <laughs> <laughs> There's way too much description about what these chicks are wearing. Uh, but everything else is good. Those two bad. look borderline illegal yeah they look like yeah, uh, yeah, freshman yeah. sorostitutes yeah. we're not not so much i think she's european the redhead i'm concerned but at least she's 15 full. i don't know yeah. that that's okay she probably has an only fans where she sells pictures of her feet now this next one probably. looks like 
one of the Mexican chicks I dated for four and a half years in college. <laughs> so let me just uh, take it back to <laughs> the main subject here, you know, like sanity. What oh are my some God. tricks that you guys use to maintain your sanity this time of year? Rhino, let's start with you. You haven't really had the chance to say much because I'm over here <laughs> ripping pop to shreds over. No, no, it's not that. I'm over here, the monkey pushing the buttons trying to get everything to work here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't I mean, know, for I'm me. Small, but I'm over here in, in my head. I'm like. <laughs> yeah, I'm, tr- I'm trying to get the lengths to work and codes to work and all this. <sighs> <laughs> all right um i think we're 90 percent working maybe but anyway back to your uh your question um i've had some bad years i suppose um but in general christmas is like my favorite holiday um and the way i deal with it you know and this has probably helped me get through this time of year is I related a lot to, you know, the releases of Star Wars movies and, you know, the lights and going to check out the uh, the houses where you turn the radio station on and it has the whole show in front. So for me, it's kind of like the time of year where all the fun happens. And so I distract myself with that shit because I've had uh, bad years where I'd just gone through a breakup. But, uh, yeah. you know, you, for me, and I'm a Star Wars nerd, man. I mean, I've built costumes. You can see that tie pilot in the background there. So for me... Turning on the movies, just escaping in that, reliving my childhood. That works for me. There yeah, like <laughs> one of the main things that helps with uh, keeping your sanity, and this applies all year round, is to try to stay busy. Yeah. 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 Listen, I idle would, hands means yeah, idle yeah. mind. And, and if you don't have the mental discipline, your mind will wander and take you to bad places. Yes. And before yeah. you know it, you'll be visiting history and then writing future scripts. Yep. And you'll be worried about all that stuff that hasn't happened yet, and then you're pissed off about shit that did happen. Yeah, it's like uh, like they say, idle time is the devil's hands, or something like that. I, uh, I absolutely you. agree. If you're busy, you don't have time time th- time to think about bullshit. You're just on the go. Uh, that keeps you focused, gives you something to do. Um, absolutely, I'll agree with that yeah. for work, man. Yeah. Uh, being busy, you know, work may not be, be be the most fun thing in the world, but I'll tell you what, when I'm doing it. I'm not thinking about my fucking problems. That's for sure. Yeah, Blake, have I done a video on how to find your purpose? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I was just going to add to that. It doesn't even have to be something huge. It's like, oh, I'm going to cure cancer. I'm going to do no. Do anything. Set your mind Mm -hmm. on anything and carry it through. Just the process of moving towards something is what your mind needs in terms of the dopamine and stuff to keep you focused on that and keep you away from exactly what Pop is saying. Yeah, you don't want to focus on that. Just in it, it can be as simple as like, oh, I'm going to go for a run or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do it's yeah. it doesn't have to be cosmic. It just yep. has to be I, I that actually is one of the easiest and most productive and healthy things that you can do for yourself to keep your thinking meat straight. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.